Hello and welcome to my treasure guide for Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. My name is Max and I will show you the locations for all 101 treasures found in the game. Let's get started. Alright, so chapter 1, another round. This one is basically just a bar fight the whole time. Eventually you'll beat up a goon in the bathroom, stick his head into the toilet, make your way back out into the bar where you just had the fight. Uh, the first treasure is behind the bar. Get out of the way, Sully. On the counter at the far end, grab it. It is a brass Vesta case. Brass Vesta case. After this, make your way out, out into the restaurant part. You will see looks like a grip testing machine, perhaps. Inside of it, a coin. It is an antique boxing medallion sensational and that's it for chapter one chapter two greatness from small beginnings you are now a teenage nathan drake in a museum as we start the level on the cannons on the right hand side if you look in the end of the third cannon you will see a treasure looks like a ring it's an emerald and diamond ring continue to make your way on the right hand side you'll come to a dark room at the end of the hall if you look on the ground behind a flower pot you'll see a antique coin purse so you continue to make your way uh, through the museum looking at all the artifacts looking for uh, one in particular I'm driving a boat I'm driving a boat and eventually that kind of delinquent behavior gets you kicked out of the museum as that security guard does his best Uncle Phil impression. You follow Sully at this point down the alleyway, but if you look to the right, to the right of the blue car there, you'll see a treasure in the doorway there. Looks like a spoon. It's an antique Colombian soup ladle. I'm fairly certain that's garbage. So after you get busted stealing fruit because you're a punk, you continue chasing Sully down the street. You'll come to an alleyway, you'll see a blue truck on the left. Go down, you'll see a marketplace. Hang a quick right, and on the shelf with some jars, you'll see the next treasure. Looks like a spittoon. It's a pottery chimu vessel. The next treasure's just down the street. Hang a left, you'll see some pig's heads on and some tables. Across the street from them, there's a staircase. Go to the top, you'll see a little figurine there. An ancient chipakauru figure. Neat. So at this point, you needlessly risk your life to follow Sully to wherever he's going. You nearly die several times. Eventually, you'll be on a high up balcony following Sully as he goes down an alley. At the very end of the balcony, by a flower pot, you'll know his next treasure. A shamanistic jaguar head. Later, you're defying death again. You get to a rooftop. You'll see a sign that says Hotel something. Climb to the top of the sign. In the O, you'll notice an antique Colombian table knife. That is just a table knife. Chapter 3, Second Story Work. At this point, you're Drake and you're breaking into the museum to steal treasure because by this point, you're a hardened criminal. Early in this chapter, you'll be jumping to a rooftop. You'll want to crawl down to the lower level continue to make your way around you'll see a couple doors don't go into those doors yet underneath a bench at the end of the walkway here's the next treasure that is a dog shaped Incan whistle that dog is not anatomically correct At this point you'll want to turn around and go into the museum fortunately the doors aren't locked you wouldn't want to lock the doors or anything You'll see what looks to be a metal scuba suit made for a hunchback. In its hands is the next treasure. It's a silver chimu pendant. Kind of a morbid looking thing. If you'll turn around, you'll see the ship's wheel. On the other side of the doorway from that is some contraption. On the floor beside it is the final treasure for this chapter. 17th century coin. And that is all the treasures for chapter 3. Chapter 4, Run to Ground. As this chapter begins, you, Sully, and Cutter are being chased down an alleyway at night. You're making your way through a bunch of different alleyways. You'll come out into this open area here, hang a quick right. You'll see the next treasure. 
is a diamond studded horse brooch. Later in this chapter you'll be scaling the outside of a building to get into a locked garage. You'll enter a top story window. You'll be climbing down. Don't go through this window yet. You'll want to continue on to the right, make your way around. You'll come to a landing. The very end is the next treasure, the 14th treasure. It's a coral cameo brooch. Once you're on the ground floor, you'll be in this big room with the green garage door in it. If you look in the opposite corner, there's a bunch of boxes that are stacked high up. You'll want to climb this stack, and on the very top box is our next treasure. Looks to be a necklace of some sort. It is a Victorian locket and chain, everybody. 15th treasure. You'll get into a gunfight at one point. It's the first gunfight of the game. Once you polish off all the dudes in the first room, take a look on the ground to the right behind a big metal thing and uh, you'll see the next treasure. Looks to be a bracelet or something. It's a silver roses bracelet. Superb. Later in the sewers, you'll come to this big open tunnel area here. You gotta make your way down, but before you do that, look up and glimmering up there you'll see the next treasure. This treasure is the strange relic. There's one in every Uncharted game. It's not one of the hundred treasures but it's a trophy and an achievement of its own so this is an important one. It's always the golden egg. The strange relic. There you have it. The next treasure is also located in this tunnel area. If you climb down to the left you'll see kind of a rusty grating. The Next treasure is stuck in there. Looks to be a ring. It is a fierce lion bangle. That bangle is fierce. Eventually you'll find yourself in this open outdoor area where you gotta climb the walls. If you head left directly off the bat, you can see the next treasure. Climb up to it and it is... I don't know what that is. That is a pearl, diamond, and ruby brooch. And that is the final treasure for this chapter. Chapter 5, London Underground. First treasure on this chapter is located in the library. If you look up the Golden Hind, you got to make your way to that eventually in the story. In order to do that, you got to climb the wall there. If you look directly across from it, though, you'll see a table, a painting of a guy riding a unicorn or something. And above that, on the ledge, is the next treasure. Looks to be a penny. A Victorian copper penny, worth less than an American penny. 